Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fur video. We're going to have a look at weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. A day 10 will take us to the 3rd of February and we'll be able to set up beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe we'll try to come winks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 for February at the end of the video. And I should get time back for you in a moment to say that first. We're going to say our 6 7 UK weather forecast and we've also released JMA for you to check out those two bids if you'd like to do that. We've got the ECM WF42 down for UK and Ireland coming up this evening. We may be live with the pub run after half ten. I'll let everybody know on the socials later on uh, this evening. Thank you so much for tuning in to uh, Gals Weather Vids on your Friday afternoon evening or whenever you're watching this video. Right, let's start with the uh, severe weather warnings then from uh, UK Met Office. We've still got a red warning in force for central and southern southwestern parts of Scotland. This is, it, is going to remain in force until 5 pm this afternoon. Uh, very strong winds associated with storm. A1 causing very dangerous conditions and significant disruption on Friday. There is still a danger to life in those areas. We have yellow and amber warnings for wind and also for snow and ice across various parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, and also, <coughs> excuse me, down into uh, northern parts of Wales as well. But the south, things are calming down uh, now after blustery uh, Friday morning. These are our latest uh, wind gusts. So we still see gusts of wind at 100 miles an hour at uh, Drumalbin, and we see very strong winds across other parts of Scotland, 82 mile an hour wind gusts, for example, at uh, Glasgow Airport, and also into eastern Scotland, we've got uh, Inverbervie, uh, seeing a gust between 53 and 74 miles per hour. The um, maximum gust is uh, just here. Not sure how to pronounce uh, that weather station, uh, but uh, signalling uh, an average gust of 60 miles an hour through there. So it remains very, very stormy across central and northern parts of the country. Not as bad further south, um, but uh, things are going to gradually calm down through those central regions through this afternoon. But it will stay very uh, windy, even, if, uh, even into tomorrow, actually across the far north of Scotland. If you're at all worried about your safety in these uh, high winds and dangerous conditions, then uh, please check out the Severe Weather Warnings page at the UK Met Office and find a link to the Met in the description with this video. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for that. Right, OK, well, central in temperature... It's currently sitting at uh, 2.7. That is uh, 1.1 degree below the 61 to 90 average visual to uh, yesterday to the 23rd of uh, January. So it remains cold for the first 23 days of the month. That will start to come up further, though. I think we're probably going to have a 3 Celsius finish Perhaps somewhere in the mid to upper freeze, we shall see. These were GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at London today, the red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off below average with the upper air temperatures. At the moment. We can find the upper air temperatures lifting up, though, when we get into the uh, early part of February. That's associated with high pressure again, building up from the south, as we've seen through uh, various occasions during this winter. Precipitation wise, lots of wet weather to come over the uh, next week. The final week of January is looking very unsettled. And then we should see a drying trend through the first week of February. Not completely dry, but certainly drier as uh, higher pressure starts to uh, build up from the south. We've had a look at sea level pressure. Again, you can see the change that's on the way into uh, the start of February, starting off with a uh, below average pressure. At the moment, but finding uh, the upper, uh, finding the um, pressure on samples going uh, upwards as we go into the first week of February, definitely a trend for higher pressure for early February. Temperature anomalies uh, up to the uh, day 10 period, which gets to the 3rd of February, uh, coming out a little bit above average, not a big deviation, but about, I don't know, half degree to one degree above normal across most parts of the country, so relatively mild uh, for the end of January. And precipitation anomalies about average, uh, really. So we're going to start off wet, but as we get into February, we will see a drying trend. Latest wind from that from Earth, Northschool.net, looking really nasty for Northern Britain. With uh, Storm A going, uh, the low pressure centre is just to the north of Scotland. Strongest winds are on the southern western side of that low. 
and you can see, you know, very, very strong winds through uh, central and particularly northern regions. Winds aren't as bad further southwards, but uh, looking pretty horrendous there into western, southwestern Scotland and uh, also into uh, the far north of England as well. Northern Ireland, perhaps starting things something a little bit less strong uh, with wind compared to uh, earlier on today. Right, let's start going through the chart. Day to Emmett, South Malaysia's UK Met Euro Run is looking for midnight on Monday. Low pressure coming, coming in from off the Atlantic, looking very unsettled. And those unsettled conditions carry on through next week until we get to the end of the week. And then we see a change with higher pressure beginning to ridge up from the southwest to the northeast. So by the end of next week, possibly a trend, something a little bit drier. But most of next week looking uh, very unsettled with further bouts of rain and at times strong winds to come. I can't again, very unsettled through the early part of next week, plenty of wet weather on the way, and uh, it's not until the end of next week, but we perhaps have a hint of higher pressure building up from uh, the southwest. The KMA, again, all much of a much issue uh, next week, very unsettled uh, uh, through most of the week. It's not until we get to the end of the week, but we try to get some higher pressure going. It takes a little while, but eventually we do get there. And by early uh, February, we've got high pressure back in control of weather, mostly dry, probably quite cold. It's like classic Scandinavian high, but the wind is coming in from off the, off the continent, therefore, inversion is very likely. So through early February, Despite the milder upper air temperatures, it may actually be quite cold with an increasing risk of frost and fog. Bit of a hint of low pressure back in again there by the 5th of February. Uh, then we've got the uh, GFS Midnight Run. All much of a much issue most of next week. Looking very unsettled with low pressure control and in the ascendancy. By the end of next week, into the first weekend of February, high pressure vote is back in control. So this has been a very seesaw winter, hasn't it? With uh, you know, seesawing between high pressure and low pressure, stormy weather and really quite settled weather. Um, and it looks like that carries on into February as well. So we're back to high pressure and again, mild upper air temperature, but probably quite cold on the surface given that the uh, flow is coming in from off the continent. No risk of frost and fog and, and that kind of thing. In the extended range, we find that high pressure begins to build out in the Atlantic, and there's a hint by the end of GFS Midnight Run that we're turning colder with uh, a mid-Atlantic ridge heading up towards Greenland, a missile plunging down into the North Sea, potentially threatening turbo wind into a cold northerly for the second week of February. But of course, that's a very long way off, 384 hours away, and therefore is unreliable. GFS 6Z looks looking really unsettled as well as we're going through the course of uh, next week until the end of the week, then we get a break in below pressure and high pressure gets back in control and in the ascendancy. So that's a setup at day 10, very much high and dry with uh, high pressure over and to the east of the country. We are bringing the wind in from an easterly direction. It's not a particularly cold east, it's not a classic Scandinavian high position, but it's probably enough to deliver some frost and fog, I would have thought, through uh, the uh, early part of February. The gruesome too, some could be on the way back. And then in the extended range, while well, turning milder and more and settle with the GFS 6 so no hint of a mid Atlantic ridge or northerly there. If you're enjoying the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to show everyone for GM out. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather Vince and get them to subscribe to show to everyone for uh, doing that. 60 subscribers will get us to 19.5k, so if you could give us a sub, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. GM bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. All looking unsettled. But by Friday, again, in agreement with a lot of model output. To Day, higher pressure starting to uh, take over. That's Saturday, 1st of February, and we're well and truly under high pressure then. So, uh, turning much drier, but also potentially a bit colder with an increasing risk of frost and fog. But high pressure very centrally located over the country with the gem uh, between days 8 to 10. So, uh, that uh, does imply, I think, a return of frost and fog. And then we've got the East Gem WF looking uh, really unsettled as well through most of next week. But a switch to drier weather uh, at the end of next week and into the first weekend of February should bring plenty of dry conditions. Probably quite cold, though, with the wind coming in from off the continent. I would imagine frost and fog could be an issue.
In the more extended range, we uh, keep high pressure uh, close to the country, really, and eventually we start to try to build up a Scandinavian high. So that's how the ECM ends up by the 8th of February, Saturday the 8th of February. And uh, we have got high pressure close to Scandinavia. It's not a classic Scandinavian high up to that point, but whether it could develop into one um, beyond that, you know, is, uh, is interesting to ponder. The uh, ECM artificial intelligence model actually goes even further with that high pressure to the northeast in its extended range. This is day 10 for the latest uh, AI run of the ECM with a proper high pressure uh, over Scandinavia and back into uh, Western Russia as well. Winds are uh, turning into a proper easterly there across many parts of the uh, continent. That's how the AI ECM ends up very brought to the east and to the northeast, and definitely hinting that uh, we could be setting up uh, a cold easterly pattern there into the second week of February. So that's something to keep an eye on and think about maybe uh, when we get into uh, the beginning of February. We've got a lot of unsettled weather to get out of the way before that, though, in the last week of January. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometia.com. So, um, it could be some wintry uh, weather, actually, if that's right, uh, as we go through to Sunday morning. A band of rain since so coming across such southern parts of England there. Uh, further north was wintry showers in the north and in the west as well. And then the next low is rattling in from Sunday into Monday, bringing plenty of rain and wind with it. Most of next week looking unsettled with these bouts of rain coming and going. But then at the end of next week, we get the break to high pressure and uh, it becomes much drier then when we get through to days 8, 9 and 10. Then the concern will be towards frost and fog, I think. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 3rd of February. 12 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure uh, over and to the north of the country. So mostly dry with that, but could be a little bit cold with frost and fog. We've got another 12 with high pressure, perhaps a bit more to the southern uh, part of the country, lower pressure to the north. That could still be quite unsettled in the north, should be rain dry in the south. Another 12 just here uh, with uh, high pressure again, dominating the weather over into the east country. That could bring frost and fog in with it. Nine with high pressure up towards Scandinavia. That's not far from bringing the wind around to the east. And six, the crew control and the operation run with high pressure over and to the east of the country, bringing the wind up from off the continent. Again, frost and fog is suggested. All options actually have high pressure in control today at a day 10, telling us that the beginning of February could well be settling down, but could be turning uh, drier, but could be turning cold, I should say, with an increase in risk of frost and fog. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 8th of February. 14 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure towards Scandinavia. Uh, bring the wind in from off the continent. Again, frost and fog is a possibility. Uh, 8 just here with high pressure to our south and east. Low pressure to our north and west. Wind coming in for a southwesterly direction. Mild and perhaps uh, unsettled in the north, but probably dry in the south. Uh, another 8 with high pressure towards the low countries. Low pressure up here. That's probably turning more unsettled and should be quite mild. We've got 7 with what looks like a genuine Scandinavian high. Bring the wind in from the east. That could be quite cold. Number seven, very unsettled with deep low pressure in off the Atlantic. And then a final seven with high pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland. And that potentially be bringing the wind from a cold northeasterly direction. So at day 10, it looks like we're seeing high pressure uh, dominating. The exact position of that high pressure is to be determined. At day 14, uh, they've got a range of options on the table. Anything from <laughs> unsettled, wet, windy weather to uh, a cold northeasterly uh, looking possible there within the East Ham Ensemble. So all to play for as we go through the first week, 10 days perhaps, of February. CFSB2 finally for February, 700 millibar high dominantly today, looking uh, generally dry and mild high pressure from the Azores into Western Europe, low pressure up to Greenland and Iceland. The model is going for above average temperatures, of course, in uh, February, and also wetter than average away to the north and west, but drier than average to the southwest. We shall see about that time will tell. 
Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals World of and get them to subscribe too. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. We're going to have the ESM WF42 day forecast coming up for you at around 7pm this evening. And we may have Pub Run live at half 10. I'm not feeling 100% today. So I'll let everybody know on socials this evening how we're looking with that over the weekend. Tomorrow we've got 6am forecast. We've got the first spring 2025 seasonal model round. We're getting all long range models together from the world's leading forecast centres for the first time this season, see what they're all showing for spring, but will be weekend forecast at 10 to 14 day as well and then on Sunday once more, have a 6am broadcast we'll have the next update for spring, I think we're up to update number 3 on that and um, also live at 6pm on Sunday with a 10 to 14 day and ensembles watch, so lots to look forward to on the channel over the weekend, keep checking back for more for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Stay safe if you're in those uh, high-impact areas with Storm A. Going, and uh, we'll see you again with more content very soon. Bye for now.